I'm joined now by Madeline Rabbit from Cree. Madeline, thank you very much for coming into us. You have been here all day, though, taking blood pressure amongst the hospital live crew. Why? So we just took the opportunity to um, do a blood pressure health check on the crew here because it's good to do an opportunistic check to grab people who may have not had their blood pressure Ch uh, checked over a period of time and most of the people who had a check today hadn't had a checked in about a year so it was a good chance to get those readings. Now, there was one or two unpleasant surprises one of which I was on the receiving end of and she'll be on the way to see my GP next week. Uh, how many other people received similar kind of news? Yeah so you weren't alone we screened 18 people today and four had high blood pressure readings so anything over 140 over 90 is considered a high blood pressure reading and they will all go on to the GP just to investigate it a little bit further. Okay, that stitch in time approach, this opportunistic grabbing of people in the workplace and wherever else, is it successful? It is successful because we know that blood pressure is the leading risk factor for heart disease and stroke. So the earlier that we become conscious and aware of it and that we ensure that we manage our blood pressure, because blood pressure is symptom free. So you can easily walk around day to day and not know that you have a problem with your blood pressure unless you're getting it checked. That is the key thing really, isn't it? The symptom free nature of this until well, the moment happens. When that moment happens, you have a handy little acronym, FAST, F-A-S-T, to help people identify when, if uh, they are having a stroke or not. Yeah, so FAST is really, the acronym is used because time is of the essence when it comes to a stroke. And also it includes the three main symptoms that we need to look out for if we're in the presence of somebody having a stroke. So F is for facial. Is there any drooping of the eye, perhaps the mouth? Maybe they can't smile. A is for their arms. Can they raise their arms or is one arm weaker than the other? S is for speech. Is it slurred? Maybe they understand you, but they're finding it difficult to get across and, spe and speak with you. And then time you need to call 112999 if you witness any of these symptoms. Facial arm speech, and as we saw in Narita's case, time, time really is one of the most critical ones there. Madeline, thank you very much thank for joining you so us this evening.